On the north shore of Hong Kong's Lantau Island lies Tung Chung Bay, a small estuary right beside Tung Chung New Town. Just to the north is what's left of Czech Lapcock, now the site of Hong Kong International Airport. A cable car crossing the bay takes tourists up to Nong Ping on the slopes of Lantau Peak. Though facing urban encroachment, Tung Chung Bay is still a haven for wildlife. Most of Hong Kong's mangrove species are found here. In winter and early spring, there are also migratory birds like common sandpipers. Other water birds include little ring plovers and grey herons, which might nest in Hong Kong or might be winter visitors. People enjoy the bay too. Here, bird photographers arrive to shoot a black cat kingfisher, a beautiful, locally scarce species. A white-breasted kingfisher also seeks fish, as do herons below. There's a historic temple on the shore of the bay. Stephen Chair is a landscape photographer who's lived in Tung Chung since 2003. I enjoy the area here, here because the, the, the place I, I live is very close to the natural environment in, in Tong Chong. And, and just within five minutes of, of, of walk, I, I can walk to the mangrove area and also the natural coastline, which is very beautiful. And in Tong Chong, we also have an old fishing village, which is called Ma Wan Chong, and which is also a very beautiful place to visit. Actually, most, most part of Tong Chong was actually a natural coastline. And, and, and very uh, beautiful, but it's now part of the natural coastline in Tong Chong is, is um, developed and destroyed. In, in the new town area, you can see that part of the um, natural coastline was, uh, was wetland now. Like every weekend when I come here, I see many, many people, they just walk around and take pictures. The government plans to greatly expand Tong Chong, threatening the bay, and the neighboring river valley. I have a lot of friends who, who live in Tong Chong and, and many of them, they, they, they actually oppose the plan of the government because they think that this place should be preserved because there are a lot of things to see here and it will be bad if this place is destroyed. I think uh, Tong Chong Bay should be preserved and also the um, Tong Chong Valley part of development should be minimized because uh, that, that part of the development will destroy a large part of natural vegetation in the area. Today, the areas along the north and west shores of Tung Chung Bay are pleasantly green, attracting butterflies and wintering thrushes like greyback thrush and pale thrush as well as Dorian red starts and other birds. Visit Ma Wan Chung and you can find the old fishing village, which was once perhaps the largest settlement on North Lantau. There's a shrine to the spirit of an old banyan tree. Nearby Tung Chung Fort was perhaps built in 1832 and served as a naval headquarters you can still glimpse timeless South China life, but high-rises serve as reminders of the modern world. Explore Tung Chung Bay and you can enjoy a splendid mix of urban and rural Hong Kong. There are sea grass beds here, a special habitat in Hong Kong, though in early spring little stirs but hermit crabs. With summer warmth, it seems the mudflats come to life. There are mudskippers and colourful crabs. Butterflies sip salty water. It's good to visit when the tide is just falling. The crabs get busy, fiddler crabs waving for territory, porcelain crabs beneath the mangroves. It seems there are hordes of fiddler crabs on some of the mud flats. The males waving to attract females and keep rivals away from their tiny territories.
During very low tides, the river cascades across the flats. People arrive to dig for clams. Clam digging is a local tradition, but nowadays probably too many people come and join the harvest. Instead of big clams the size of your hand, most might be tiny, perhaps the size of a dollar coin. So, Tung Chung Bay is special for humans and wildlife alike. I hope that instead of being damaged by development, it can be safeguarded, protected for generations to come. <laughs> <laughs>